This garage is crammed too. We're assessing the damage from the 14 wides. Um, disclaimer, I don't want you guys to go roast to be in the comment. I knew obviously that there was gonna be some negative effects on the paint from a wheel sticking out that wide. I mean like it's literally sticking out like a boatload. We went riding the other day, it was sick. Here's some helmet cam footage. saga of the day i just changed the oil onto my bike and i uh forgot to tighten my drain bowl for the oil and i don't have any sockets you riding in this today huh i said donate <laughs> 150 milliliters fill the sucker all the way back up spray it this isn't our main pressure washer setup. This is an electric pressure washer to test to see how uh, the foam works with a lower PSI pressure washer, such as an electric one. But this is a Ryobi, it has like 2,000 PSI. You see how this thick, nice layer of foam is remaining on the side of the truck? It's not running off. Trade the super in. Yeah, they sound pretty good. That's pretty sweet. Got to stock up on our vitamins. We got the coronavirus and everything. Got our vitamins. Got the truck clean. Wow, is it clean? It's only clean until we hit a puddle, and then it's not clean. This isn't clean. We got to do something about this. What'd you say? <clears throat> Hold on. We got to take our. Uh, not sponsored. 
but you guys should be getting on your vitamins. Oh, smell that? Smell oh. those? Smell this? Oh, smell that? You know what cures the coronavirus? Huh. What are we, double filming? Yeah. Alright, um, yeah, disclaimer on the truck. I did realize that it was gonna hammer the paint, right? I, I knew the 14 wires were gonna hammer the paint, so don't don't go crushing me. Um, oh, Cummins over there, straight pipe. Everyone's running muffler delete these days. If you're not running a muffler delete, so so when you get from like you have like a five foot, <laughs> you have like a five foot gap, right? Of yeah, it looks perfect. Yeah, it look six, seven, ten feet away. Truck looks immaculate. Um, as you get closer, that 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 story that story falls apart. Now this truck has 80,000, just over 80,000 miles, and it spent about 79,000 in the hot shot, or in the oil field as a hot shot truck. So I see you guys out there comment on my videos saying that this truck is a pavement princess, liars. This truck has spent 79,000 miles in western, southwestern Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, in the oil and gas field, which are brutal, brutal back roads, mountains, potholes, up, down, nasty stuff. Um, the general stuff, these these chips in the front, like as you can see, like chip, 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 all those chips, that's obviously from highway driving. That's not from that's not from the 14 watts. So basically the 14 watts actually have destroyed the paint. Little nicks, any surface that protrudes out that can actually catch a rock or debris from the wheels is hammered. All up in here. This isn't dirt. These are all nicks and scratches. Um, so it has nicks and scratches all the way around the wheel well Which you know, obviously this is the this is the main part. that's going to take the blunt of it um, We actually have an actual chip a real chip there where the bare aluminum is showing um, You have scratches going up at an angle here Yeah, this is these are all nicks. This is all scratches all nastiness from the wheel this the mirror where the this is actually the camera that puts together the uh, bird's eye view of your uh, backup camera and this is all completely hammered all scratches under here is very very bad you guys can see all of these nicks big big one there all the way down big ones there pretty heavy duty there um, and it also has slight Scratches so if you go through a puddle or whatever you'd see the you'd see the wave of, of dirt and water and mud that would get thrown off the tire So there's slight scratches in a wave that are hard to pick up in the Sun in the camera right now These little nicks and scratches are down the entire Back side of the cab, which is weird because if something's coming off the front. It's not gonna hit the back side And then you have your standard part back here, which is uh absolutely hammered these are all scratches and nicks um, I don't know if that can be corrected with paint correction but like I said a second ago any part that is basically protruding that can actually catch you know a rock or debris that would be flying by is is pretty bad I even have it on the light here. So what my plan is with the truck is um, gonna try to fix what I can with paint correction. Yes, I'm gonna attempt my own paint correction. A lot of you say I'm nuts. I literally have not the slightest idea on how to do paint correction, not one clue. But I'm gonna try to do it myself. I'm gonna try to correct everything I can. But look right here, this is about you know like 10, 12 foot. Truck looks perfect. Get a little closer, not the case. Um, so yeah, corrected all paint correction, then I want to do a 3M or Expel protective clear coating. Um, thinking about the Stealth one, it's actually the clear Stealth, but it's like a matte, so it'll give it like a matte finish, which actually looks pretty sick. Or should we just do a full complete wrap? I'm super up in the air, I like shiny gloss black, but I want to change up something, so if we're going to do a wrap, if I'm going to do a clear Expel, um, you know, what if we just do, what if we just do a full wrap, like a color change or something? Like we go, we go like flat white. What are you doing? Thinking about the wrap. 
like or like battleship gray or like yellow or green or something crazy not green um battleship battle what battleship what color are they coming gray <laughs> you look like a bum sitting on the curbs you got a sign Good. All right. People are probably driving by. What the? 